In this video we will overview labels. Labels are important because they allow you to, let's say for example that I wanted to name this section labels and then I didn't really want to put a table of contents. First I wanted to have a file upload for some reason. So then I go ahead, I create a file resource, file, once again we drag and drop and save. Now one of the issues with labels is if I wanted to bring up and put something above the actual in between the heading I couldn't do that. The heading has to go from start to finish and then you add something else but you can't really add something in between the heading and uh, the rest of the heading basically so I can't add something in here unless I add it as part of the heading but I can't divide the heading sometime however we want to divide or add additional things um, so let's say let's add the table here so we have they can be useful for adding subtitles embedding and um, organizing the site. Okay, embedding is pretty important too. So when you think of a label, think of everything on the front page. A label doesn't go anywhere else. A label is not a sublink. This is basically a label where we modify the topic label. But the topic label is different from other labels. And that's why we're going to go ahead and create a regular label. So we have here labels. What are they useful for? Split long list of activities, subheading, and embed, and short descriptions. Okay. So basically what we agreed, or I mentioned before. Um, so a label, it goes straight into the Wixic editor. Again, this Wixic editor is very similar to the other editor, the one for the topic box. The only difference is there's no topic title, but apart from that, it's identical. To the topic box. So we could add here sub list assignments one, two, three uploads, no additional readings one, two, three. Okay. So that's one way you can use a label. The nice thing about a label that you won't have with a heading of or a, a topic label is that you can hide a label and the students won't have to see it unless you want them to. But let's keep adding labels. The end of this uh, video is that I want you to create a label and try embedding for example or try uh, adding a table if you wanted to to columns and two spaces so there we go we have a table now one two three four we center the values okay so that's another possibility for a table and then just anything related to HTML code again it could be just the title let's say we wanted to put um, private activities and then after this title we have the activities well probably the best way to add that title if it's not the activity itself is by adding it as a label okay so now we'll actually embed a video from YouTube let's embed a TED talk any TED talk would do right now so we'll just copy one of them so here when we have instead of copying so this I'll link start with this. A couple years ago. I want you to copy the embedded link so go to chair and go to embed and you're gonna copy that iframe code sometimes depending on the side you have to copy the old embedding code but it should work fine with the new embedding code again out of all the icons click the one that says HTML and there we go we have a video right there. So I'll and that's part of your heading. 
you can also create text of many colors and shapes of, of your label and you can create anything in your label just remember it's an editor Okay, so we'll do this, italicize, we'll bold this one, and we'll give this one a different color. And then finally you will bold highlight, cross, and highlight that one. Good. So you can do any type of change. Now we'll send one to that side, to the hole to the right. Okay, and now the last one will send to the middle, like bold. Good. There are other options again, just remember to just hover over them, try different things. But that's basically what a label does. So it allows you to organize, to embed, and to absolute titles. If you remember, I was also able to embed from SlideShare and many other sites. Many sites offer an embedding code. That could be even documents like Script, for example, or Google Docs too. Uh, you can embed them. Uh, Google Forms themselves, you can embed them too. So there's many tools you can embed. And embedding just changes your actual front page when you embed it as a label. Uh, whereas if I added a page, for example, that would be, it'll just be a link and it'll take me to a page. Same if I added an HTML or if I added a file resource. So a label modifies the front page of the site. I hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks.